So now we've created a, an RSS feed on our website. Now all we want to do is to put it into a pop-up. So we open the pop-up software and we choose new project template. In there you'll find external site. Uh, don't forget the, you have to be online to do this now because this software will actually uh, render and refresh your browser inside the actual software you'll see in a minute what I'm talking about so it's over the pop-up it's uh, actually going to a different URL but we are going to change now so let's go back to the old page where our RSS feed was so it's on the JavaScript 123 JavaScript popup.com um, we copy that link, copy, go back to the software and you will see in the top right hand side there is the original link which takes us to the pop-up that's already showing and all we need to do basically is paste in the link. So once that's done we can refresh which is there just a little bit down it's in the window in the browser window underneath the pop-up content HTML editor so we refresh that and there we go now we have a pop-up with our con so now we have the pop-up there are a few things you can change here you can change for example the title of the pop-up if we just move it up there you see the checkbox with the title if you turn that off you can see now it's been refreshed and it no longer has a title box so but we want a title so we're going to put a title let's just move it up so you can see it just in the corner that's right and we're just going to call it football rss okay refresh there you go come up here that's it you can do some other things here. You can take off the border, make a larger border. If you want, you can change the size of the box, the pop-up box. Let's make it a little smaller, 450. Okay, so it fits nicely in. There are other things. I mean, here you can make sure that it stays in the same place. You can control how it, it, it comes in. You can make it fade in, fade out, slide in, slide out. You, there are loads of different, but just for now, to make it simple, let's just have a normal pop-up with a title called our Football RSS. So now we've created a pop-up. We just need to publish it to the website first you have to save it so I'm just gonna put it into a directory a new directory I think a new folder which I call RSS pop also got to give it a file name so I'll give it the same name RSS pop and save it so now it saves we can compile it so we push the, the compile button which is which was just above the pop-up content HTML editor and it will come up with a compile box which gives you some script here you can copy it directly to the clipboard and this is actually the script that you will paste into your preferred HTML page on which you want the pop-up to, to be displayed. So we copy that to clipboard. So if you look just underneath into the second box after piling your pop-up you will see it tells you four files that need to actually be moved over to the server. So if we go to Filer, over here. okay here's FileZilla and we find the directory which we saved the project in which if I remember rightly was a directory called RSS pop-up there we go 
and then the four files may uh, one is called close which is the button that you close the pop-up with um, there's the resize which is to resize the pop-up if someone wants to resize it I mean you can turn those both off if you want to in the pop-up control in the software but we've left them on for this uh, demonstration and there's the RSS pop dot JS and RSS pop ADP lib dot JS those two might actually be different names depending on what you save the file as originally so we've four files over and also if you you can test it at this stage by just moving over the it should have another file which is the title of the files you saved this one is called RSS pop preview HTML which is just the H is it's a preview it's a preview of the pop-up in a blank in a blank um, web page so we've moved those over we've moved the four files that are necessary to to work the pop-up and the one just to test it so we go back to the original original page which was on the server and just change that for the preview file which is RSS pop underscore preview dot htm maybe html I'm not sure right no nope, maybe it is html html go there you go pop up there you go there's your pop up so basically all you would really need to do now is in your preferred web page I mean you can do those here it is we will view it in the preview file but it's the same for any page let's just open that page and in the header or the head or just after the body here in this case of your preferred HTML document you just paste the script which you copied from the compiler which was this script here copy to clipboard and then you'll see that you will have a pop-up window with an RSS feed inside it that's all. Thank you very much.